Welcome to the Ozark Hobby Adventurist. I'm Ken. And I'm Jim. And today we're going to do our afterthoughts of the Remo 1093 ST. But I think before we get to all the good points, we're going to bring up the bad ones because the good ones are much better than the bad ones. Well, should we start with the tire? Yeah. yeah. As you can see, there is a rim breakage issue that we had and uh, evidently this is pretty common didn't make us too happy it's a good thing that they send a spare along other than that the tire is awesome very nice alright then we had a drive shaft issue And what we had was one of these pins here had come out. It's the one that got the E-clip on it that runs all the way through. Um, what we used to remedy this problem was the universal ball pin for the outdrive on a Losi JRX2 JRT uh, vehicle. I had some and we pounded it in. Uh, kind of sucked, but uh, not real hip on the whole drive shaft design as far as having the little eclipse holding stuff in. But if it works, it works. But when it don't work, well, it don't work. Um, other than that, the drive shafts are fantastic. Surprisingly quiet out of the box. With the tires being super grippy, all you can hear is them just flowing over the rocks. Very smooth on the low, low end, so to speak, say coming from a dead stop to slowly rolling forward. It's very graceful in that spot. Between, very well balanced. Yes. The overall speed was probably more than what we needed. Um, might not be as much as what some may want, Overall speed, crawling power, low end torque. I guess the proper way to say it is it has a very good horsepower to weight ratio. Yes. And it is very efficient at that point. Not to get too technical for anybody, but it's one of the things that I look for. Got a lot of torque when you jump on the throttle hard. It's just very graceful when it goes across rock. So let's pop into this thing. We still got dirt on this? Oh, behind the inside. <laughs> oh, sweet. Wouldn't want y'all to think that uh, we didn't give her a proper test. Right. Oh, and speaking of proper test, we had an issue with the body, but it was driver related, not product related. <laughs> and it took a hell of a hit into the side of the window. Yeah, there's actually a crack all the way down here. It starts here and runs through here and just a little chip on the bottom. All I did to fix that, very muddy, but just a little duct two pieces of black tape, tape duct tape. Yeah, the good stuff. Mmm, muddy. And one of the things I did like about the body, while well, we got the body off here, was the, fa the fact that they actually took the time, and you can't really see it, but there's actually screws here that hold yes, the body to the f back frame. And then you got screws up here and over here on the side. Oh, I'm on the camera. Try this again. Okay, one thing I like about the body is the fact that you got screws in here. And there's like a, where's it? one here, one here, one down here. There's six one all together. But it holds everything together nice and strong and sturdy. And plus, that way, if you want to change the cab out to a different style cab or change the bed out, gives you that flexibility yeah. without having to re engineer the wheel. That's cool. I like that. Mm, look at that. Mud. <laughs> Our favorite color. Mm, Soupy. Mm. Mud. Okay, so you can't say that we didn't test these things. Now, we didn't go out and swamp this through nasty, gooey mud because we didn't want to have to clean the motor out. So, but we did go play with it in some mud. It didn't do too shabby. Uh, for just a 2500 milliamp nickel metal battery uh, I'd say we were down there playing for what at least a good 
hour playing yeah. in the mud. At least, at least. Now we weren't playing really hard in the mud. You no, know, I mean but we were still putting some resistance. Axle deep mud. Resistance on the motor, you could hear it bog down a little bit. You know, um, waterproof speed controller is very nice. Quiet. It's just amazingly quiet. Fantastic job. There, I do have a complaint about the radio. Here's the deal. We think instead of having the radio to where you could switch it from left-handed to right-handed, then maybe they should have invested a little bit more time in the rims. But other than that, for an inexpensive rig, this thing is amazing. For a rig under $200, it's amazing. For a beginner that's not going to be extremely rough on stuff that's got some mechanical ability, this would definitely be a good way to go. I mean, it's just sturdy all the way across the board. And it doesn't have a lot of frame twist, but that's a good thing. A little flexibility doesn't hurt, you know, and look at this, it's set this back here just a little bit. You know, out of the box, that's that's pretty good. That's not too shabby. I enjoyed playing with it. Now we gotta clean it up so we can go play with it again. <laughs> so anyway, um we had fun pretty decent setup it's the only two problems we had was the drive shaft pin and the rim and the rims a little bit more thicker plastic would have been great yeah just a little more on the rims so uh, but the are be locked so it won't be nothing to change them out so you may consider if you're gonna buy one of these you may want to buy a set of rims and some drive shafts now one of the things too about the drive shafts is we carry spare stuff. Spare is always nice. Buy a little extra. Have those little parts that you need. We used a CV joint type drive shaft, a constant velocity drive shaft, and we found that the angle uh, was a little too steep for the drive shaft. And so, if you put in a steel drive shaft or an aftermarket drive shaft, and you don't plan on lowering it down any, I would go back with a universal joint type uh, shaft versus a constant velocity type shaft. You're just like right at its limits setting like that. But other than that, got the pin put in and either way it was running so we were pretty happy with that. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Quiet. Whew. Wow, it's quiet. Alright, well I guess uh, time for us to get out of here. We will have this truck in some videos coming up soon. Thanks for watching. Share, like, subscribe. Maybe we'll meet you on a rock somewhere.